my life folks a quick fortnightly round up again well it's been about 17 days since last time so just start off in the greenhouse again as you can see my tomatoes are absolutely flying on now getting on for about two foot six getting some nice flowers on i'm speaking quite quietly because a lot of people live around here and they might think i'm a nutter talking to myself in the greenhouse chilies that i planted doing really well now these are the jaws long they're the prairie fire and then I've got this little tiny one. I've forgotten what, talk, what sort that is actually. Have a look on the label. Uh, no, I've forgotten, but it's got flowers on already and it's tiny. You can grow that in a four inch pot on your windowsill if you needed to. Uh, what else have we got? These are my peppers, sweet peppers. Just starting to get a few flower, flower buds emerging. And then a couple of cucumbers with cucumbers on. No, no less, look. First little cucumbers. Anyway, that's how I grow my cucumbers, just up a stick and then I'm just training them horizontally along a piece of string, like that, and the other one the other way. So that's about it in the greenhouse. Everything doing well. These are my bush type tomatoes, my marmand and my plum type ones, which are going to be shorter, so they're at the back. So that's it so far in the greenhouse. Tomato time, couldn't couldn't be better really. Well hi folks, I'm now, I've just nipped up to the plot, we'll just start off in the same place as ever. This is where I'm growing my giant pumpkins this year, for the last time I think. I know it looks a bit like a refugee camp with all these tents, but this is just to give them a bit of protection. I put them in about a week ago, and get, balance this on my head. Like I say, they're only a, about a week old. That's actually the seed leaves, that's the size of the seeds they come out of, so uh, we'll see how they get on anyway. But I've got three in and I've got another four giant marrows, so we'll see how they get on. If it was a decent summer like last summer, should get a good one. You know, 100, 100, 200 pound is nothing special for some of these kind of seeds. And I've got one under there which is even bigger. You might just be able to see it through the polythene, that's even bigger that one. I'm just giving them extra heat and extra protection just against the wind really because they're so flimsy got such big leaves and when it's windy the things just they just snap off so uh, anyway that's the that's the pumpkins I'll just nip up over into me my other bit try not to trip up like I did last time this is where I planted the leeks out the other day and they look all right now not that there's much can go wrong in three days. Second lot of peas coming up now. Planted those about ten days ago. And what have we got? This is where I'm growing my marrows this year. Again, I've just got some protection. There they are. Get out of the shadow a bit, but never mind. So they're just giving just more protection from the wind and giving them a bit of extra warmth. Get them a, give them a bit of a head start. Trying to beat my record of £66, whatever it was last year. I've got some seeds from £120 or so. I don't know, we might do it. These are the overwintering onions now. Trouble is I'm getting a few going to seed, which is annoying because they just, they'll be no good. They won't bulb up and they won't store. But stupidly, because you know that most people have problems with red onions. I do for bolting and going to seed. These are the red onions and not a single one's gone to seed. So it's a bit perverse that one. Red onion's fantastic and the first sowing of the normal ones are uh, going to seed. This is the later batch that I've actually planted later and they're bulbing up now and they're not bolting. So I don't know, I have no idea with that one, why the earlier ones are less vigorous and going to seed. Probably a good idea to leave them a bit later, isn't it? Judging by you. Uh, what's happening all right these are my show shallots they could do with a little bit of weeding now i've not had that much time but if you can see if I try and get in you can see they're splitting into about four they'll actually be up in about a month because you've got to get them up really early so they can ripen off for the shows spring onions that i planted in little bunches if you can see this little bunch of spring onions there so Probably won't be too long before they're ready because they're quite small now but another couple of weeks of this weather and they should be should be starting to take a few little spring onions. I'm just going to have to have a cough, I'm a bit full up. 
<coughs> parsnips had a big onslaught of slugs initially but uh, we seem to have fought them off and they're growing, they're growing quite nicely now what else have we got in this bit this is the kale I'm protecting it in the mesh there and it's growing really well growing really quickly it's a new sort of kale I used to grow that Nero de, de Toscana last year but I'm going to try it I've tried a different one and I can't remember it the name of this one for the life of me it's a different one it's really frilly but if you look at the snook logs look they've been bloody nailing it it's just ridiculous this year slugs right we'll just nip up over nip over into the other bit and I'll show you some other bits and pieces right my flowers have started to come out now anyway this is my little nature pond that used to have fish in it and then just got overrun by all the iris which are now coming out lovely little plants these bog iris or yellow flag or something I think they're called but they are amazing they are a really lovely plant there's lots of them around here naturally so uh, well that's where I got them from I actually went and pinched some out of a stream little poppies coming well not little poppies these are these big poppies bumblebees absolutely love them absolutely love them they're all starting to come out now oh yeah hang on fox gloves I'll just leave some weeds to you know to grow because you can't beat a good fox glove I'm getting one of these mutant heads again on one of these a big giant mega cluster at the top I got one last year and it was a strange beast more poppies they're all closing up now because it's the end of the day a few more poppies just breaks it all up doesn't it a few flowers now and again a few of the carrots outside in the bag in the boxes sorry all doing well growing a few a few flowers in uh, in pots there just a few Californian poppies and cornflowers and bits and pieces so right we'll just have a quick look at the uh, at another bed potatoes these are my spuds in the pots are absolutely flying on now they're all topped up to the top we compost really going really motoring now so I'm happy with those they got a real battery in the other week when it was blowing a gale I put a bit of windbreak up there they got a bit smashed you can see there look a few battered but it's no big deal it's no biggie so that's the spuds in pots doing really well we'll have to start watering them a bit because uh, if we don't get any rain they're going to dry out my leeks still doing okay not as good as last year I don't think but it's not the tops you eat is it sometimes you can have a really small top and a big bulb or conversely a really loads of leaves and no bulb so uh, you don't know until you pull them up they're the leeks not leeks the uh, michelots are planted they've started to perk up a little bit they've started to stand up I've still got some uh, wind breaking when it was so windy I've lost a couple of lettuces I'll just show you I'll show, well I'll go around here first right cabbages that's the savoys and some greyhound starting to grow a bit now the summer sprouting purple broccoli it's just it's not seemed to have moved since I planted it it's not moved at all so whether it's a dwarf or right here what I don't know I don't know the peas remember I've planted these from a gutter they're absolutely motoring now these can't believe it look at the state of that flying along absolutely belting them I should be starting to get a few flowers I'd imagine soon because they only get about two foot tall before they start producing peas right just have a wonder I'll just show you my lettuce if you pardon the expression right uh, lettuce is probably just about ready to take a some of these little gems in a while might as well take a few while they're small so little icebergs there just starting to heart up and then this little frilly type multi-green it was called like I say they're not far off uh, being ready to take so they've really flown along like I say I did lose a few in the wind a few got blown off <laughs> pardon the expression again oh Christ right so uh, we'll just have another quick nip into the polytunnel now and show you how all the monstrous stuff's getting on I'm running out of water look at that 
short of water right I'm going to the polytunnel now which has got shading up because it's been a bit sunny today otherwise they get scorched and wait till you see the size of these I'll leave the best till last hang on right French beans now look climbing up I just love the way they do that just twirl the way up and that's up two foot in a week that few lettuces I had spare just to get them even quicker inside squash in the corner that's a climbing one I'll just let it scratch about all over the place my last potato early potato in the pot I pulled the one out last week if you saw the reveal of that some more lettuces here that's my courgette when I planted that it was a feeble feeble little thing and in just a space of a few days it's in this heat it's just moving on a pace another couple more squashes a few little cucumbers these are those little ridge ones the little ugly spiny ones a few spare pumpkins and marrows and things right these are the giant onions in pots can't really get any perspective because there's nothing to uh, compare it with I'll just get my hand in bloody leaves it way innit get out it way they're fairly fairly bigger then so I'm happy with those at the moment no uh, problems no pests no bolting seed heads or uh, anything like that and the carrots absolutely yonking on flying away inside they don't seem to mind the heat whatsoever so they're in the in the sandboxes two different boxes for two different shows and I'll show you these carrots here in fact I'm going to pull one out sod it these are some sweet candle that I just they're probably as forked as anything doesn't matter does it they're good, still good to eat I just planted those they were little spare ones I had all growing in a little pot so I just untangled them and just plonked them in just to see so that's it it's not very big not very beautiful but purely for eating right long carrots in barrels doing okay ish never had much success with long carrots after the first time I ever grew them the best ever time best ever ones I ever grew and then since then I've just been going downhill right these are my Kelsey's the exhibition ones not the giant ones but I'm hoping these will get to maybe five or six pounds they're getting you know they're doing all right they've got plenty of leaves that's the most that's the most important thing the more leaves you get the more skins you get on your onion therefore the bigger the bulb in theory so they're doing really well because they had a disaster last year when uh, for the first time ever they all went to seed so I've watered them more this year when it was you know when it's been warm so they don't get any dry roots and any stress because even an onion can get stressed out a couple more in the, the giant ones in the pots couple more right and these are those silly carrots I just said I'm gonna try and grow a giant carrot I don't care how ugly it is so look at the bloody top on it look at the thickness of that so uh, we'll see how big they get I'm just gonna leave them to grow as mutantly and ugly as possible <coughs> oh, excuse me and we'll see what they get to at the end of sort of August time and then this is the final onion this is the one I just grew in a, a raised barrel in the soil just a different way of growing it because a mate of mine grew a 10 pounder and he put it in a bit of a raised little raised bed and it's doing the best of the lot so it might be the way to go it's absolutely bloody huge look at it that's a two litre pot bottle and it's a good old size and it's got another what June July August three and a half months to grow yet so the dream of a ten pounder might be on, you never know. So anyway, it's absolutely roasting in here. I'll just get back out. And that's about it I think folks. Another roundup, another fortnightly or 17 daily roundup. Absolutely glorious night tonight. So I'm just gonna sit up here for a couple of hours, chill out and do a bit of weeding. So that's about it folks. See you later.